Hi everyone, today's lesson is on footing the ledger. So the learning intentions from this lesson are you're going to learn about the trial balance and also the process required to foot a ledger account. So firstly, the, what the trial balance is, it's basically a list of all the accounts in the general ledger and their balances and the total debits in the trial balance should equal the total credits. This means that you have successfully posted all your transactions for the period and this is what a trial balance looks like. Now list of all the ledger accounts, so bank, stock control, debtors control, etc whether that account has a debit balance or a credit balance. So in this example, our bank and asset has a debit balance of 2,650. If we add up our total debits for all our ledger accounts, we have 78,950 and our total credits is the same, 78,950. So Let's look at the process of how you, <coughs> sorry, you foot an individual ledger account. So it's a four step process. You want to add up all the amounts on the debit side, then add up all the amounts on the credit side, subtract the smaller side from the larger side, and then penciling the balance on the larger side. So let me work through an example of that with you. So let's take our bank, the ledger account for our bank, and as you can see for the month of February, we on the 1st of February we debited our bank for 25000 and the credit side of that entry went to capital. On the 3rd of February we paid some rent, so the entry was debit the rent expense account and credit our bank 10000 then on the 15th of February, we made some cash sales, so our bank increased, so we've debited bank 3,650 and credited our cash sales, which is a revenue account, for the same amount. Then on the 22nd of February, some wages were paid, so we debited the wages expense and credited bank to decrease it by 16,000. So they are all our entries in our bank ledger for the month. So step one requires us when we're footing the ledger to add up all the amounts on the debit side. So our total debits for the month in our bank ledger was 28,650. Step two requires us to add up the amounts on the credit side of the ledger. So our total credit entries into our bank ledger was $26,000. So step three requires us to deduct the smaller total from the larger total. So we'll subtract our $26,000 of credits from our 28,650 debits. And combining steps three and four, if you subtract the 26,000 away from this 28,600, we get 2,650 and then we want to write the balance on the larger side of the ledger. So what this is basically saying is that when we put this account, the bank balance, the balance in the bank ledger is 26, sorry, 2,650 debit balance. Now tip is to make sure that you write the balance in your cross-reference column so that you don't confuse it with a, an entry amount. So we've worked out that our bank balance was 2,650 and if we have a look at our trial balance, our trial balance has bank as a debit of 2,650. So what are the advantages of preparing a trial balance? Mainly it is error detection. 
So we'll be able, to, if our trial balance doesn't balance, so if the total debits do not equal the total credits, there's obviously been an error of some description. Now this could be that when you did your entered your transaction, you may have put two debit entries in or two credit entries in as opposed to one debit and one credit. Um, maybe only one entry was recorded. You may only have debited the bank ledger and didn't credit the capital ledger for that transaction. So that's going to cause your trial balance not to balance. Um, another potential error is just a recording error. So you may have debited, for example, 15,000 for your debit entry and then your credit entry you may have only debit credited 1500 which is a common error that's made so be careful with your when you're entering your transactions okay so the trial balance isn't a catch all it's not going to detect all the errors so if a transaction is not entered a transaction that should have been is not entered your trial balance will still balance however it's not going to pick up that this error has occurred. Another error could be that you've entered a credit as a debit and a debit as a credit. So for example with a capital contribution you may debit the capital account and credit the bank and your trial balance will still balance however you've entered the transactions the wrong way around. Um, another example would be using the wrong ledger accounts. If you've had some rent expense you might debit wages expense and credit bank your trial balance will still balance however your rent and your wages expense accounts will be incorrect and you may record an incorrect amount so if for example if we go back to a capital contribution if the capital contribution was twenty thousand dollars and you only debit ten thousand credit 10,000, your trial balance will still balance and it will not pick up that site, that type of error. Okay, so bringing us to the close of our lesson, hopefully you're now aware of the trial balance, how you can prepare one and the fact that you to do this you need to foot your ledger accounts. So thank you for your time.